before you're looking at Mr. Skippy Tickles. Oh, so cute. Oh, I'm sorry to wake you. Hello, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today is September 20th. Today I'm doing a full body check in. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretty much just give you a little bit of a gist, and next to what I'm going to say, I am going to. Actually, let me do my check-ins first so I can look at them, and then I'll talk through them and I'll play it on the side. So give me a second. Chris Pi 5. Okay. So what I do is I put my phone on video mode, and I, excuse me, Miss Ferroyo, and I get a place where there's light coming through. Natural light usually works the best. So let's do this. I'm gonna put this on video mode. I'm gonna back up so we can see my full physique. And then we're gonna go for our poses. Man, oh man, I've literally had four, no, three and a half meals. <laughs> of carbs and I am looking so tight. Super excited. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna give you guys a cute, a quick little update of everything. Um, so this is my third week of my reverse diet. Um, it's going fantastic. I am super, super excited about how things have been moving. My body has been responding so well. Um, I've literally made no change in weight since I'm literally like one pound over stage weight where I was at my last show. And then ever since then, like my weight has pretty much been the same, maybe like 0 0.4, 0 0.9 higher. Um, so I started off at, I'm sorry, this morning I was at 120.4. Last week I was like 120.4 as well. And then I think I fluctuated a little bit higher and a little bit lower, but I'm super excited. So let's talk about this week's check-ins and how everything's going to. So here's my check-ins from today. And I'm super excited. I feel like my shoulders have already started to really fill out. I mean, you can just see it right now. And it's been extremely, extremely, extremely exciting to see how my body has changed with just switching up the training, being able to do less cardio and still incorporate my HIIT workouts as well. I feel that that's what's been really, really helping. I've also increased the amount and quantity and I guess volume of the workout. So before I was doing just an hour of training and I was just pretty much cutting it off from there. Now I am doing about an hour 45 to two hours of training. So I've been really, really focusing on the training program that I've been doing, really focusing on my shoulders, my chest, my glutes, my hamstrings, like everywhere. Like my ultimate goal is to really add on like a good three to five pounds of muscle within this time, it may take me four to six, say four to nine months to get there. But honestly, I am at the point where I'm extremely excited. I'm at a good place mentally. I'm a good place where I want to get to the stage with my best possible physique. And I don't want to just keep on showing up and not, you know, you can't grow and just keep depleting yourself, keep depleting yourself, keep depleting yourself. I'm in a good place where I can maintain, I can be happy with my physique and with my coach PJ. We're very, very strategic with what's going on. Um, yeah, so my training, I've been doing six days a week, really like splitting up, um, trying to do legs, not trying, I'm doing three legs three days a week, hitting shoulders twice a week, back twice. I don't know if that math is adding up and I'm doing uh, my HIIT training as well. So I, I'm actually been posting all of my workouts on the app club and I've been getting so much feedback on it. People are literally like, Steph, how do you do this? Like, this is so hard. And some of you have been able to complete the training. Others haven't, but I'm super excited to hear all the feedback that I've been getting. And I'm excited to see all of y'all's transformations by following my program. So the app club, just a little snippet of it. I post my training. I post my check-ins. I post exactly my macros. Um, that I'm consuming, which I'm actually gonna get to it a little bit more on, how many calories I'm eating, how many macros, and then in my exact diet that I'm following. 
for you guys to follow. And then on the training, I tell you guys, okay, this is my training program. These are the sets, these are the reps. Obviously, I don't write down the weights just because it, it would be too much to do, one. And two, like, I want you guys to try it and try it with your own weights and try to really push as hard as you guys can as well. Um, that being said, with my check-ins this morning, I sent it to coach. He was extremely happy with everything. The lighting wasn't the best this morning and I was a little bit like, ooh, I feel like you can see my glutes a lot better somewhere else, but it's okay, it's fine. Um, once again, I'm super stoked about how things have been just moving and just like that side glue picture, you could see that definition like, <sighs> sorry, Mr. Tickles. And last thing, okay, so here are the updates. So coach has increased my food. Um, he's giving me another cheat meal this week. So dude, I'm like, oh my God, this is gonna be so much food. So I he so I'm doing a carb cycle, I'm doing two days low, one day high. For my high days, uh, he increased it by another 30 grams of carbs. And then for my my low days, he's increased it by another 10 grams of fat. So it's it, you know, it's like little bits here and there, but it all adds up and I'm like, oh my goodness, I want to maintain, I want to do well, but I know that what my body needs is to get fueled and it needs to, like I'm literally doing everything and my body's staying the same. So let's see how far we can push these calories. And if you guys want, once again, want to see like my full diet, go check out the app club. It's all there. And I update it every time that there's a change with my training and my cardio. Um, other than that, cardio staying the same. I'm doing, as I said in the past, 45 minutes of cardio six days a week. Um, I am doing, what is it called? The training six days a week. And then my carb cycle, two days low, one day high. And then once a week, apparently now, it's on one of my high days, I'm doing my cheat meal, which tonight I'm doing a burger. Hmm, should I show you guys the burger? Oh, so yeah, so tonight's gonna be a really nice day too because uh, we're also going for a movie. So it's gonna be a nice little date that we're having with, um, so Rachel's and Jordan are coming to dinner and then Andy and Christina are going to dinner and the movies with us. So it's nice to kind of take a break from everything guys and not just fo hyper focus on, you know, training and vlogging and everything. So it's good to have that mental like, relaxation, which is one of the worst I really don't like. But anywho, so overall, very happy with my training, very happy with um, my results that I've been getting, and I'm super stoked to see how, where we're gonna get to. So till then, I'll see you guys on the next update. The next update may be a full day of eating, so stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys on the next one.